Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, I, I couldn't just leave him there. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. He's a little rascal. He never stops. Just like you did, you know? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. 
He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. What about the others? Hannah, Cassidy, Penny? What happened to them? They ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn was gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. Finn's murder. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. I'm the asshole who went along with the robbery. They ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn was gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. I'm the asshole who went along with the robbery. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're going to let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not going to ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now. But Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. <laughs> 